what, what is the issue you're having? What are the concerns? What, what office are you? Just just tell me what office you are. We record our phone calls for coaching and training purposes. The Lieutenant Governor of Ontario. Okay. okay so you are the department. Um, we got an issue with the, the police. Uh, no, we don't deal with that. Uh, <coughs> excuse me? We looked we up... We don't deal with that, sir. What do you deal with then? Well, you can look at all the responsibilities of our office on our web website, sir. And what would they be in regards to court and police misconduct at the highest levels? What would be the Lieutenant Governor General's position on that kind of thing if that was made uh, public. public and aware of that? If she was a, uh, If she was aware of it and didn't act, what would that uh, be for her? Well, it's, it's not on her, it's on the reception, because the reception's told to, to uh, not take any uh, appropriate calls. What's your deflect. name? Sir. You're what, what, you're, just, what you're doing just, right now is deflecting the issue. That we, it's not the right office for you to contact if you're having issues with the police, okay? No, but what is your name, just for the... For the audio. What, are you? what company are you? CertifiedTechRoofing.com. I'm, I'm not understanding why you won't give your name over the phone. She won't give her name because she's a deflector. She's supposed to take this call and pass it on, but according to the hate group and the well, SS, that's why I am she cannot. What is the My she, name? Are you a Canadian citizen? I will are get... you a Canadian citizen? Pardon me? Are you a Canadian citizen? Yes, I am, sir. Okay, okay, well, you, there is a Canadian citizen's oath to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II and all her uh, successors and heirs to bear true allegiance to her and her royal authority, as well as the l lieutenant... Uh, not your the lieutenant, own authority. Not your but, own authority. But the royal authority. And the lieutenant governor, I'm sure, has a, an oath of her own. And so <coughs> I'm bringing this matter to her <coughs> attention because I've reached out to the Solicitor General of Ontario We've reached out to <coughs> the Attorney General's office, and we're reaching out to the Lieutenant we're, General's. We're dealing with, uh, I don't know how many cops in the last 99 days. I don't know, 400 I've something. lost count, yep. Yeah, we lost count. And it's usually over, like, uh, we try to get them to investigate the sabotage <coughs> and disruptions, but There's, they never do investigate the crimes. All they do is um, kick us off property for coffee. Anyway... That's a trespassing you, order, and in order to uh, lawfully do that, you need a criminal crime. But it seems like they can issue without criminal crime. This must be passed up the chain, and the lieutenant yeah. general no more must fake be made aware of it. Orders. There are 196 videos on the YouTube channel and of Certified Tech Roofing. And another 120 comments. There's a whole bunch that we haven't been able to upload. This is also uh, due in to the fact that disruptions. disruptions have occurred, internet connections, phones have been hacked and disabled. Everything I, that you can possibly think about already has happened to us, including business cards. Can you imagine that officers show up to disrupt the purchase of business cards? Are you guys fucking sick in the head or what? There's no reason why the owner of that printing company would have not taken our money. And we offered to double pay? Yep. Yeah. What business are you, sir? Uh, I've we're certified. You probably already heard about us. Certifiedtechroofing.com I'm, I'm at a point of frustration because I've tried to pass this on through many channels. And every channel is basically shut off and misdirected we, and redirected. We actually contacted how many news agencies? Yeah, we're, we're making another video right now, just so you're aware. This is like another video that goes up. More evidence. Hello? Cat got listening, your tongue. Sir. What's that? I am listening, sir. So, I mean, it's not... I'm not against you at all you are the receptionist i imagine for the lieutenant general and, and you only deal with high level <coughs> cases this is a very high level case yeah it with goes... the amount of cop footage we got online i would say it's the highest that's ever entered canada <coughs> is this happening in the province of ontario or is 
yes, <coughs> yes it particularly, is. particularly the greater Toronto area where <coughs> my company is based. Okay. Um, <coughs> like 15 cops over one job? It's a civil matter between me and the customer if it is a matter. We're under contract and then we get 15 cops and then the final set of cops issue trespassing orders okay that aren't even relevant to the situation now we already know what's going on the customer doesn't want to pay for perfect work so he phones his cop buddies and gets me off the roof so he doesn't have to pay so is that how cops operate now they do favors for people and do trespassing orders so the customer don't have to pay for the beautiful work that we did. Fifty dollar fine. You blocked my way. <laughs> but you give me notice first, right? Huh? You gotta give me notice first and say you know, your my pass has been blocked. I'll be like, alright, I'll, I'll fix it for you. Thank you though, we'll uh, yeah. be unplugging that in a moment. We might have another cop drop right now over some... Uh, you know what? Stuff. Do me a favor. I take these ones. It's uh, going up. These balloons. Those ones go down. No helium. Put me up. I'll take it. Send me to NASA. Yeah. We need a spaceship too. Huh? Fuck. We got too many cops. At least if we had a spaceship, the cops wouldn't be able to fuck with us. Yeah. Sorry, we're just talking to somebody else. Yeah. Okay. Try and figure out how I can redirect you. Oh. Well, but, that's the thing. That's the problem. Yeah. We're getting redirected all the time. Maybe just. I think. I think we contacted about a hundred different government uh, agencies. I, I suggest. Eight hundred news agencies. Like this is a primo news story. But I think all the news agencies are controlled by the government, and they can't put certified up. I would suggest you flop that right on the Lieutenant General's Here, desk. Why don't we just like turn right on the now. CB radio? Oh, when when turn, we finish the conversation. The engine, turn the CB radio on. And we'll do a little bit of certified talk. Is it still on? If not for much longer. Certified tech roof. Okay. We're on. Just with, hold on. Just hold on. Let them respond. Uh, what was okay. the. I have to end the call. You're interrupting. Thank you. And uh, you're not listening. Uh, what was the name of this place? This is the. Well, they hung up. Uh, <laughs> but it's the Lieutenant General's by. Office of Ontario. It's the Lieutenant General's Office of Ontario. And uh, they don't like dealing with. Uh, situations that put them in it straight so they just hung up i guess we're a dead issue with them um do you mind uh sending a trucker crew down there i don't know um don't even bother honking your horns boys just uh i don't know what to do get your fucking rubber duckies out and fucking have a bath i don't know um, dealing with these fuckheads that uh, are pretty uh, stupid, eh? Well, they're sophisticated in their ability to like. And they're very sophisticated in their ability to be stupid. All right, so how do we deal with it? Do we just fucking like <coughs> get rid of them? How about that? We just fucking throw them out on the street. And make them fend for themselves, just like they've been doing to the homeless people for fucking years. Taking their ID and fucking infiltrating this fucking goddamn country with fucking homeless people's ID. And uploading them into the fucking system. Becoming peoples of power and position and cops on fraudulent fucking ID. Huh? Huh? All those homeless people been dying. To cover up the big story. There's a bunch of people in your government with other person's ID. It's simple. The verification systems are pretty fucking low. 
real simple, boys and girls. It, how easy would it be to infiltrate, like for me, okay, it's impossible because somebody's already in possession of my ID. But how easy would it be when you got fucking shit tons of people in power in the system to bring somebody in and give them some Canadian's ID and then make them be in poverty for the rest of their life and then harass those fucks with the cops. How easy, it's a theory, it's a theory, okay? All the evidence is out there, okay? They uh, just kinda like get rid of it and make it go in archives, but it's all out there, we can look at it. I'm sure probably uh, in accordance to the behavior that's been put forth towards certified, I'm sure, um, I'm sure it's plausible. They have a directive, they have a mission, okay? And you just let them advance every single minute of every single day. All right, so we got the fucking evidence, okay? And it can be substantiated. Uh, once this evidence comes out to light, uh, all these hairbrain claimers start to be plausible and reality. <sighs> All right, so I received your call. It's time to start the show. I nearly made all the calls out. Why?